Good morning everyone and welcome back to um, blog 27 and yeah so I didn't do much yesterday but I was really knackered so yeah I didn't do anything at all and uh, yeah and where the hell am I anyway oh yeah sorry that's right um, it's William's flat Um, William Cumley, Cumley, something like that. Um, this is his abode. Um, so, yeah, I'm just staying there for the night for the Bromley event. Um, it is 6 40 something. Um yeah. So <sighs> I got up about half an hour ago, so I was like freshened up, got ready. Um William's getting up about seven, so I've got fifteen minutes to chill out and just talk for <clears throat> well more than talk fifteen minutes. Um yeah, we're leaving about half seven. Uh I'm gonna get two buses there. It's just on the edge of London. Um, yeah, not much else uh, to report on the uh, blog in front. Um, I'm going to be doing it in snippets today. I'm not going to be doing like loads. So I'll probably do a bit when we get there, you know, before we get changed and everything. Um, do a bit, kind of an hour or two into the event and then so on and so on so do it in blocks um, meeting the girlfriend today um, not sure what time she's getting here but she'll let me know um, yeah that's pretty much it really um, I've got all my gear still down there so that's alright you'll notice the uh, converse uh, they were the converse as I use dressed as 10 and um, well they've had a wee bit of wear on them over the years uh, so yeah I need to get back into the 10 to the swinger 10 and um, obviously get some new converse uh, as you can probably tell I had a shave late last night um, it's worked out alright actually um, so yeah, that's the general gist of what's going on today. Um, two charges raising money for, I can't quite remember what they are. But it's all going to be fun. Um, obviously there's laundry around at 12, so definitely not going to do blogging then. Um, so I'll see you all later. Oh, one more thing. Uh, apparently I've been selected for a cosplay panel. Never done that before, so that's going to be fun. Um, got no idea what that's about, uh, but I'm sure it'll all be amazing, hopefully. Um, so I will see you all later on. Bye. Oh, right. Okay, well, hello, welcome back to the blog here with Will. Hello. <laughs> yeah, he's now on YouTube. Uh, <laughs> So walking through Bromley Shopping Centre and it's nine, well, pretty much near nine o'clock. Um, I've got no idea where we're going. Where are we going? Churchill Theatre. Oh yeah, Churchill Theatre. That's it. Um, yeah, so that's where we've got to get to because that's been lent out to us for the whole day. So it's great. Um, we've taken two buses. It's taken about an hour and a half-ish to get here. So, uh, yeah, it's basically the whole high street, so it's a massive thing this year. Nice. Apparently last year it was just a small building. Yeah, it was in like a convention centre, which is more like a meeting room. It hmm. was like 120 square <laughs> foot, if that. Hmm, tiny. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, just coming to the exit of the shopping centre, so we should be able to kind of see it from here. I'm um, seeing stands already in the distance if you can make it out. Yeah, so um, yeah, I just walked out now. Uh, we've got to try and find this. What's it called? 
Chisholm. Churchill Theatre. Churchill Theatre. I know where I'm going. Oh, right, okay. Will knows where we're going. I don't, so I'm I'm following him. Right, okay, going past Starbucks. Oh, uh, various places. Um yeah. Right, is it that way? Uh, down here to the left. Down here to the left, right, okay, yeah, people are getting set up already. Uh, yeah, ooh. Dalek. Uh, the Dalek's here. It's all covered up. And there's a cyber thing. Oh, it's me box. I knew I'd left it somewhere. Um, so, yeah, got a blue box here. So, uh, yeah, I've just got to head over to the theatre now. So, I'll see you all a bit later. Bye. message really with cosplay is nobody is too anything to do cosplay you you can do it if you love your character if you are prepared to get creative you can put your own spin on a character as well so you do not have to make it completely screen accurate you don't have to spend a fortune um, put your put your own little twist on things and it goes down really well especially at cons because People have seen a hundred Harley Quinns, but the best Harley Quinn I ever saw was a guy with a full beard who was just rocking it, and he was just, he was having the best day of his life. Um, so yeah, get original, get creative, um, and you know, just, just have fun is the main thing. Um, I have met some incredible people through cosplay, I've met some people who are really generous of spirit, really, really big hearted, um, and incredibly generous with their knowledge, their time, and their skills. Um, my own crafting skills are questionable to say the least, um, but it doesn't stop me having a go and making a project and I've learned a lot from doing this, more than in my day job for many years, trust me. So my, my final comment really is, you know, don't let anything hold you back, just if you fancy doing it, be the character you love, be the, your version of the character you love and um, you know, just, just go out there and, and own it. And I'm going to pass you on to Enza now, who is our sole non-Who cosplayer on this panel. So, he's going to blow your mind, because he's going to say really original stuff. <laughs> yeah, so hi. I go by Enza, and my voice is really, really loud on that. So that's good. And I just got into cosplay because I like making things and showing what I do. I got MVQs and stuff in art, so I thought make it have a use, and this is it. I've done it for like two years now. I usually do a Judge Dredd costume, which is too hot for this weather, so I made a Fallout costume instead. And if anyone wants to come up and have a look at my props, they're all handmade and hand-painted, so come and do it. And if you've got any questions, just ask. And I don't really know what else to say, so I'm going to pass you back to Missy. Okay, um, right, of course to me then I think uh, I'm going to ask each of our panel why you have chosen the character you are today, which is the Ninth Doctor. So why the Ninth Doctor? Um, how long did it take you to put it together? It's one of those. And um, really just um, what, what's your single proudest cosplay moment? Your, your moment that you will always remember? You've got me, they're here. Um, I'm the Ninth Doctor, of course, as I said, because I'm a Doctor Who fan. I don't really cosplay the Ninth Doctor, and I, it's just an easy cosplay to put together. Um, and he's a fantastic, without pun intended, he's a fantastic Doctor, and not a lot of people like him, which is ridiculous, because he, he brought back the series um, with a bang. Um, and did a fantastic job, but um, as for putting it together, I already had the jacket, already had the boots, and I just got the jumper off eBay and the trousers from Primark, which was which took a week, not even that, to put together. What was it you said, biggest moment? 
single proudest moment in cosplay. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, oh, we could be here all day. I'm, you're gonna have to come back to me because I can't think. So I'll pass it to you. Hello. Yeah. Um. So. Oh, what was it again? Why are you guys? Yeah. How long did that take for the biggest cosplay moment? Oh right, um, I'm as Seven today because he's my favourite Doctor. Um, I think he's very underrated and I just, he's brilliant, yeah, like you said. And he's Scottish, so there you go, like, does anything else need to be said? Um, oh yeah, definitely, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah. Yep. Yeah, but I love the costume as well because I think it's so quirky and so wacky and also quite serious in a way. It adds to the quirky side of the Doctor, which is a part I like to look in with the Doctor himself. And um, it's took me actually over a year to get this costume done because since I started um, cosplaying, this is the number one I've wanted to do and it, I've always thought, oh, it doesn't look right, it's not anywhere near as good and then it was literally on my birthday I got this jacket and I was like finally it's out there I couldn't do it oh yeah and the shoes from this lovely man here <laughs> um, but yeah biggest moment of cosplay I think god um, I, I'd have to say MCM actually when you let me borrow your purple jacket because um, yeah just because No, the purple jacket. But yeah, um, when I did that, I, one of my main goals of this year was I wanted to cosplay a classic Doctor because the only Doctors I really did was 10 and 12. And Pertwee was actually my um, first classic Doctor I watched and I also, it, the costume that I wore was the first classic Doctor episode I watched. So it was quite a nostalgic moment for me to wear something that means so much to me. And I felt really happy because I literally went to MCM and all these people just started talking to me. And I was like, I don't know any of these people and we're just talking like we've known each other for forever really. And I just thought, wow, this is amazing. And then I'm getting added to Burning Skies and getting added to Who Knows and everyone's asked me to events and stuff. I thought, blimey, I feel famous. <laughs> Everyone's like randomly coming up asking for my photo and I just thought, yeah, yeah. I mean, they didn't ask that, but a lot of people were like, oh yeah, let's have a photo of free and stuff. And I thought, oh my God, I don't think I signed up for this, but okay. But yeah, that's, that's what I'd say. I've come up with two moments. That, um, the first moment, sorry. They were both at the Doctor Who Festival and my first moment I was walking around with a cosplayer, another Missy and I had this random person come up to me and say can I have a picture please? I follow your Facebook page and I'm your number one fan it was him and I was like what are you talking about number one fan? I've only got like 200 likes I'm not famous he said can we have a picture? I said, yeah, all right. So I had the picture with him, and here we are today. And my second moment, again at the festival, I had a photo with Peter Capaldi, and my friend and I went up to him. I was dressed as, um, what was it, last Christmas outfit with the hoodie and the holy jumper. And he said to me, ah, you've come as me, have you? You look fantastic, I like your outfit, he said. He said, um, he said. He just said he liked my outfit and he said, uh, I, get a picture? Sure. I did a good job. And he said, did it take you long to put it together? I said, no, I, I, you know, I've had that for ages. And he said, you look fantastic. So, oh, and recently I met Paul McGann, who plays the Eighth Doctor at Comic Con in London. I was dressed as him. And he said to me, oh, it's the Doctor. It's me. You've come as me. I said, well, I would do, because it's you. So... Okay, four moments. 
A bit greedy, aren't I? Yeah. Here you go. Yeah, he's getting a bit Spanish in position, so, you know. Um, okay, I just wanted to elaborate on a couple of points the guys made there. They mentioned um, things called Burning Skies and Who Knows. They are Facebook cosplay groups that are not solely dedicated to Doctor Who. Burning Skies in particular encourages cosplay from across all fandoms. Um, but they are fantastic communities. There's a lot of information on there. Um, as I said earlier about people who are very generous with their knowledge and their time, um, that those pages are full of people that will guide you, support you, encourage you. My God, do they encourage you? And um, and yeah, and yeah, big name check to um, the admins on all those pages who do brilliant work. Um, and yeah, let's let's mention Simon because you know he's our he's my secret favourite. Um, so <laughs> yeah, well you know you're my second favourite. Um, so yeah, just to kind of elaborate on that, um, just just briefly then on social media, um, Mickey talked about obviously people following his Facebook page and so on. Um, I, I personally don't think it's about a numbers game. I don't think it's about getting 200 likes or 1,000 likes or whatever. It's about the quality of the interaction. So it's how many people are actually commenting, talking to you, reacting, you know, reacting to the stuff that you put up. Um, I, I think that's worth so much more than getting a thousand people that just do nothing um, and just you know make way really um, quality not quantity I think. Um, I'm gonna pass the questions on to Enza now so Enza your cosplay so why your character how long it took you to put it together um, and also if you don't mind throwing a couple of figures at it as well because I'd be interested to hear how how much this kind of kit cost you to make um, and your biggest cosplay name well, I chose this character because I just had bits laying around that I wanted to put together into something. The jacket, bodysuit is just something I had from Halloween a couple of years ago and just customised it with yellow strips. And I just didn't want to do a judge today, that's it. Uh, the shoulder pieces cost me nothing. That was a piece of scrap material and a five litre bottle of chemicals I was used from work once they were empty, cut it up into strips, spray painted it and then painted the frost on top, put it together with some split pins and it's done. And then same as the arm on the legs, shoes are just converse so I painted yellow. That is the only thing that actually cost me any money. That cost me seven pounds and it was just for the 3D print over the watch which I already had. And then that's a case for some earphones and they're just CO2 you know, canisters I found laying around on the floor outside my flat. Um, the guns all cost me nothing. I just had them laying around. That's a blue pound shop gun that probably cost someone a pound when they gave it to me. Same as this, that was a green gun from the pound shop that I just stuck some canisters, canisters onto and painted green and added rust and stuff. The hat was given to me by a customer in the place I work. Um, same as this gun, which he did for me as well. And then that's just a Nerf gun I painted, and that's a hubcap that I added some straps to. It's a hubcap shield. Yeah, and then the mask is something I had laying around from Halloween a couple of years ago, which I just cut to fit my face, and then I wear the gas mask over the top and the belt was just an old police belt that a customer gave me who happens to be a police officer so all in all it cost me about ten pound and it's all done by hand all painted roughed up and that's it my biggest cosplay moment is probably from LFCC this year I was a judge and I was asked by the co-creators of Judge Dredd to stand for photos with them for most of the day because they had the Judge Dredd bike there from the 2012 movie so I spent the day with the creators of the character I was playing and was basically just in every single photo with the bike and it's really good I got signed photos from them a couple of signed comics from them and they retweeted my tweets on Facebook liked my page and stuff like that it's all good other than that Ask me some questions. Read my mind. Um, 
Yes, I mean really I just wanted to find out if people did have questions, um, if there was anything you particularly wanted to ask any of the guys.